This video is the next in the series for showing how to use JavaScript with Rails. At this point, uh, we're really just doing JavaScript. I've already shown how to integrate um, the JavaScript with Rails. We had to do this uh, this require bit um, and then add the file within the context of the, the Rails app. But at, at this point, <clears throat> we're just doing JavaScript. So what I want to be able to do is make it's, this application so that when I click on a row um, that uh, I'll be able to display a modal window with Bootstrap that has uh, probably just a professor and chair piece for um, this uh, this link, or maybe I'll just display the uh, the company or something like that. So, uh, so what we want to be able to do here is uh, have our application when we click on the row uh, do something, and, and what we need to start off with is displaying the. Um, displaying the information from the nodes. So, <clears throat> uh, if you recall when um, we started this series that you can have elements that have um, child nodes, right? So, because we have a tree, basically. And so there is a property within the um, uh, within the DOM trees called child nodes. So if I have, if I'm sitting at uh, at body, for instance, I can do the child nodes, and it'll get me all the immediate children of that node. So if you look at uh, uh, documentation for HTML DOM, you'll see that. So you can do document body child nodes, and that'll give you everything that's uh, a child of the page. And actually, let's go ahead and run this. Uh, so. If I have this document here, uh, its children include the um, comments as well as each of these paragraphs, the button, and so forth. And so that's what happens there. So let's uh, let's take a look at what the the node looks like. That's returned to this this activate item, <clears throat> and I'm going to run an alert here and use the this object and essentially what this does is says that uh, when the uh, when click for any one of the different rows is uh, is executed so if we click on a row uh, activate item is, is run and then uh, and then this this object is essentially the row and I can verify that by just typing out the inner HTML for this and this will be displayed in our alert. So as we render the page, I'm going to click on a row, and there is the HTML for each one of the, the elements. Uh, so, or the, the HTML for the row. So, what I want to do with this is I want to uh, uh, I want to grab the uh, I'll, I'll get the company name, uh, and I want to use that, um, uh, and I want to use the, the child nodes uh, uh, attribute in order to get the company name. So let me do that. So in my code, I'm going to set a variable called company, and that's equal to this dot. So we have our child nodes. And oh, there's one thing I want to show you here <clears throat> is that uh, the way that child nodes or child nodes work, there's actually um, so if I were to go after, I would you would think that this August 2016 would be element zero, and this is one, two, three, but actually these tags are, are part of the children node. So there's the um, there's the tag, but then there's also the the text. So it actually turns out that if we're going to get uh, the company name, it would be the tag is zero, one, two, three, four, five for TTU. So we we'll use that <coughs> as our child nodes array selector and. I want to get the actual <clears throat> text within that, so it is a child as well. So let's type that. 
and then we're going to display something. At least I believe that that's right. Let's see. It's a great thing about programming. You can just always try things, and if it doesn't work, you can run it again. Actually, it says here that's the object text. Let me not use the child nodes part there. And just render company. Let's see if that gets me what I want. Oh, it's still the cell element. Oh, I think I know. I know what I want. I want the inner HTML. So, right, so child nodes at zero. Uh, it says it's undefined. Third time's charm. Maybe I just want this. There it is. Okay. <coughs> so now I have the company name, which is uh, what I wanted to be able to display uh, when I have my modal window. Uh, but, but we're not there yet, so we're still working with just the alerts. Uh, and I'd rather just render, I'd rather render this information as something that's styled nice using Bootstrap, and so that's where we're going to go next. So anyway, that's, that completes the, this particular video at least. Uh, so basically what we've done here is we've added a little bit of code um, to be able to grab the, uh, the text that's part of the, um, um, the table uh, for, for the particular rows. Uh, and so next we're going to render a, a modal window using Bootstrap. Okay, so that concludes this video.